with the memories and nightmares which I carry with me everywhere. Praying to God is the only thing that keeps me at peace. To survive here, I need to know the language, so I joined the intensive English program. All right, class, before I let you all leave today, I just want to let you all know we've had a great semester this year, and as we approach the end of the semester, we have a final project coming up. And this final project involves you all giving a presentation in front of the class. So you all need to prepare, start preparing for this, and you need to come up with a topic that you're interested in. Any topic is fine. So on that, you're all free to go. This part of my life is going to the doctor and unable to express what I am going through. When we were asked to give the talk, the first thing that came to my mind was to tell everyone my pain, but I could not put it into words. This part of my life was preparing myself for the final talk. My teacher understood my situation and helped me reach my goal. This part of my life is expressing myself. My name is Emma, and I have made myself an equal human being when I was refused to write, read, or rather live. We are all equals. God has made us that way. But how many of us really believe in it? How many of us think that we all have the right to live a safe and happy life? I am here because the place where I once lived is no more. It has been destroyed by people who were hungry for power. I am not here to talk about personal revenge or how I was tormented and was forced to move out of my own country. I am here to tell you that despite what happened to me back there, I survived. I wanted to stand for a cause and faced every obstacle that came my way, just to prove that we cannot be treated like worms who can be crushed and left to rot. We realize the importance of light when we see darkness. We realize the importance of our voice when we are silent. My name is Amal, which means hope, and this is a part of my story.